The pyruvate dehydrogenase complex is the link between glycolysis and the citric acid cycle. The overall reaction is pyruvate plus CoA plus NAD positive yields acetyl-CoA plus CO2 plus NADH plus H positive. The yellow circle on the floor represents E1, the pyruvate dehydrogenase component. The two pink circles represent E2, the dihydrolipoyl transacetylase component. And the green circle represents E3, the dihydrolipoyl dehydrogenase component. Other players are TPP, the arm of E2, and lipoamide, and FAD. This is how it works. Pyruvate and TPP and two hydrogens, represented by basketballs, combine in a reaction catalyzed by E1 to form hydroxyethyl TPP and CO2. The arm of E2 swings over into E1 and catalyzes a reaction between hydroxyethyl TPP and lipoamid to reform the coenzyme TPP and to form acetyl lipoamid. CoA and acetyl lipoamid react in a reaction catalyzed by E2 to form acetyl CoA and dihydrolipoamid. Acetyl CoA can now go on to the citric acid cycle to form energy. Dihydrolipoamid reacts with FAD in a reaction catalyzed by E3 to reform the coenzyme lipoamide and FADH2. FADH2 transfers hydrogens to NADH or to NAD to form FAD, NADH, and H positive. NAD can go on to the electron transport chain to form energy. Uh, to recap, the pyruvate, pyruvate dehydrogenase complex is the link between glycolysis and the citric acid, acid cycle. Oh, oh, <laughs> that was a long time.